Hi, I'm James from Clever Touch. I'm the UK sales manager for digital signage for Clever Live. I wanted to give you guys a quick few tips about setting up the Pico 11 or the XI as initial process. Now there's a few things that you must have on site. One of those is a keyboard and mouse. That is essential to set up any Pico player. It's much easier when installing to use the keyboard and mouse to help the customer out or to, or to install it yourselves, purely because you're going to be having access to that Pico player itself. So I've got my keyboard and mouse here. This is a really handy little tool just to purchase off Amazon. Obviously you could just use a normal keyboard and mouse. What I've done is I've taken the wireless receiver and I've plugged it into the Pico player itself into one of the USB ports. So what the first step it is I'm going to do is I'll probably see this. This basically means we've got no network connection. Now, if we've plugged in an ethernet, we can skip this step entirely, but I'm going to utilize Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do is right click. That will send me to this page. My settings cog is on the home screen. If for whatever reason yours isn't, you can just click with the mouse and drag up from the bottom. That will bring us into the Android settings menu. We can then click that. And there's a couple of things. Now, obviously this screen is in landscape, so I don't need to do anything. But if you have got a screen in portrait, there's a couple of things that you need to remember. The first thing, keep the screen in landscape orientation, even though you've installed it in portrait. Sounds counterintuitive, just as the way that the Pico player works. So keep that screen in landscape. So what we're going to do is going to change the orientation of the Pico player itself. The way you would do that is to scroll to display, click on display, and then look at screen rotation allows you to then rotate the screen to whichever way that is that you want. Quick tip, press back. The way you press back is right click, super easy. So what I'm gonna now do is I'm gonna to scroll to system. The reason I'm gonna to scroll to system is again, it is essential that you guys set the date and time to be the correct date and time for your region or your area. In this case, we're in the UK. It needs to be on British summertime. If it isn't, if it's on Central European for whatever reason, it cannot work with loops and schedules. That is both loops and schedules, they both require the time zone to be correct. It's one of the most common features and issues that we get. So whilst we're here, whilst we've got a keyboard in, it makes sense to scroll to date and time and ensure that that is on the correct date and time. The last step is going to be putting it on the Wi-Fi. So there's my Wi-Fi option there, network. I'm gonna click on Wi-Fi. And I'm in the Scotland showroom at the minute, so I'm gonna click on Clever Touch Scotland and I'm gonna enter the password there. Once I've entered that password, we'll see connected. Again, I can do just what I did before, right click. Bearing in mind, I've set up the orientation I need. I've set up the time that I need. I've set up the Wi-Fi that I need. So the last step is to go to Clever Live. Now bear in mind, you can also use the timing startup and shutdown app if you want to add a task to make the screen, the Pico player turn on at a particular time and also turn off at a particular time. There's a separate video on that. We can also utilize the MDM as well if required so that we can then remote in and we can manage all of this stuff without having to add a keyboard that is especially useful if you are installing the pico player four meters in the air or behind a video wall or somewhere inaccessible in a comms room for instance so again keep an eye on the mdm bear in mind that is a subscription cost after a year what i'm going to now do though is launch clever live when i mean clever live if everything's gone well this fab 12 D28, this type of pin code will appear. Again, every pin code is random. This is eight letters, eight, eight letters and numbers. So what I'm now gonna do is go to the Clever Live on a laptop or a PC. Again, if you are installing this as a reseller, what you wanna do is try and get the end user to be either with you or logged in, ready, so that you can add it in, or ideally give you a username and password. Again, if you're the end user, you'll hopefully have that information already. So we go to my laptop here, and then what I can do is I'm on Clever Live, I've already logged in, so the next step is to go onto the Screens tab. When I'm in Screens, I then press the Add button, I enter the PIN code, so in this case it's FAB 12D28. Submit that, it says device has been authorized to connect to the account, and then what you guys will also see is this Clever Live system status page. Now, on here it says updating content, and on my laptop, if I scroll, you will see it's got this little download arrow. We cannot do anything whilst that system is downloading the content. You have to leave that be until that download arrow has vanished so that it looks like these are the ones. What I'm also gonna do is press this option here and I'm going to change the name. The reason I wanna change the name is because if you are installing 10, 15, 20 of these and they all say default, we're not gonna know which one's which. So if I was installing this in reception, 
I would change the name to reception, and so on. The last thing that we're going to do, I've still not unplugged my keyboard. My keyboard should remain plugged in. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to scroll to the settings option. Clever Life has its own settings. It is not the Android settings. It's, it's the app settings, basically. And the reason I'm here is it is essential on install whilst the keyboard is there. Check for software updates. Click this option here. Now, this is up to date. I've updated it already. It's likely that you guys will need to download a new update. Download the update and install it. It's going to, again, make everybody's lives way easier in the long run. Once you've done that, you can right click back to the system status page, let it update the content, and then assign any content to the system that you need. Again, if you've got any questions or if you need any further information, you can contact us either via the website or if you email info at clevertouch.com, we'll get back to you. Thank you.